Hi everyone. Today we will learn how to programming uh, transformation. Okay. So before that, please copy uh, the project from my Git server in here, and and uh, you should also copy the GL matrix code to your local working directory. So use Git server and Git command to copy the project in your the working folder. Okay, I will explain GL matrix. As you know, the, you already the practice uh, the programming with JavaScript for making uh, the matrix multiplication. So, so you t you can use your your matrix multiplication function, but uh, but the, we 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 need the various kind of uh, some mathemat mathematical functions to programming uh, transformation in. JavaScript with WebGL. So there are so many good uh, utilities software to to help the WebGL programming. But the, I like the GL matrix. GL matrix is quite good tool and it is open source for GL drawing. So you can download and you can use uh, uh, you can use the GL matrix that that. Then you can download the code and you can also get the, the documentation of GeoMetrix. In GeoMetrix, there are a uh, couple of uh, modules in geometrics.js file. Uh, first mod module is GeoMetrix, the second thing is Mat2Mat2D, and Matrix3D, 4D, Quaternion, Quaternion2, Vector2, two, Vector3, two, Vector4. In in geometric, the, there are ba three basic functions in in geometric model. So there is equals, so comparing two number and changing to degree into radian, and then set matrix array type. So set matrix array type is we can define, predefine data type of matrix. Default is a proto solid to array. Proto solid to array is used in widely used in WebGL programming. So we can change it into other format, but I want to use it a proto solid to array. So so it is very convenient to use in WebGL because we can define the type of array. Okay, so and we also use the matrix four because. As we know, the, in our sample code, we use matrix for column major. The data is sending to GPU, so we will use this one and then this one. So, in some case, matrix vector four is sometimes it is not not good for our WebGL programming. Vector four is a four dimensional array, so it is very. Uh, of course, we use homogeneous coordinate of x, y, z, but normally the w, w homogeneous in homogeneous coordinate w is equal one. It is the same as the vector four four dimensional array. So we will use vector three widely, okay. And then how to use geometric? So we should import the geometric code to our our sample code. First way is you can import in JavaScript code with import command. So it is possible to modifying uh, modifying the hello.js file. Then in in, in inside of hello.js file, then we can add some import function. So it is possible to import it. Import geometrics.js with import function. Okay. So second way is so we can modify the HTML file. Then, first, first to we execute JavaScript geometrics.js first, and then, and then we can run, learn the the hello.js file. Then we can get the result. Uh, it, the this part is somewhat different that way. So if we will we, if we include this geometrics.js, we can use that functions included in geometrics. But 
we should the function should method should should start with this thing so gl matrix dot matrix for dot create something it is quite a long name so if we want to use short name with for then we can add this command window with array then the, we can use this uh, map for instead of geometric dot map for okay so it is quite convenient tools so we will go into the our code okay so start code the, we, we we need to prepare the to coding transformation so okay co first thing is copy geometrics.js to local work folder and then we we i changed the the drawing code the i made the cube data and then i turn on the depth test uh, about the depth test i will explain it in per program operation but don't worry about that so it is just simple code and then okay in in git folder there is uh, the the so webgl pro project the folder name is transform coding transform coding in the code the there are two html file and three javascript file one is the the, the geometrics.js and second thing is uh, is the, the hello.js file and third thing is hello dot hello underbar start file so underbar start file is current file okay okay i'll show you the directory first the in my working directory it is same as git server the, there are index dot start file and hello start file there is the currently index html and index underbar start html file is same and hello.js and hello underbar start file is same file i download the geometrics.js file on on this the working directory let's look at the index.html file now now i'm editing index.html file so i add to include to include the geometrics js file so i add a script this and under script these two line will include include uh, geometrics.js file and and i also changed the, the title of this uh, application so webgl tutorial 07 the transform coding okay and i added to shortcut for matrix 4 and mat vector 4 and vector 3 so i i can use the matrix 4 and matrix vector 4 3 with a short short name okay and then close the script and i include it in hello.js file then on loading Loading the main function in hello.js file will be executed and then hello API canvas will be created with the size of 800 and 600. And then there is some toggle animation button to control animation. That's all. Okay, I changed it. If you are not prepared to this, uh, these files in your working directory, please pause the movie and you should download first please practice and then i will explain uh hello.js file so first i added the vertex data for drawing cube so xyz it is back face front face left face light face bottom face and top face six faces because it is cube so of course there are six cubes six faces but each face is consists of two triangles so one triangle in is here second triangle is in here so i changed the color with the back face is red and the one vertex is changed to white to to show that so what is the difference between two triangle and also the front face is blue and white and the green uh, left face is green and white and yellow magenta cyan so i i made it with the the size of one the cube and then 
Then next code is I change the 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 shader is the sh same as previous example, and then uh, okay the I add some rotate y with with, with a variable then zero point zero and the the toggle animation function is toggle the flag animation the flag animation is global variable and in this status it is same as a start file so I show you some it's reloaded and then animation you can see that it it I set the cube with the size of same x y z uh, direction but it does not look like it it does not look like the same size it is it is problem of uh, viewport and you don't have to worry about that and then it it is it has some problem to to understanding the shapes so sometimes it it is look like uh, we are looking in inside of box or sometimes it is looking at outside of box is very confusing so to test to test the shape is correct or not so we need to change it into here so draw in when you are drawing so drawing with line strip then it will be a little bit helpful to understanding shape i changed in to draw draw with GL triangle, GL line strip, then reload, reload it. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it diagonal line is it appears by the so triangle connection, so we need, we don't have to worry about that. I think it just looks very quite good. So I'll show you how to turn on the depth testing. So. First thing is we need to set the GL uh, clear, clear depth value. So normally the 1.0. So what it, the, the value of the, the parameter is clear depth is from 0 to 1. So 0 is just the near the near the camera. The 1 is the, the, the maximum value of depth. How far from I? So I will clear with it is far and then in GL clear we, we need to remove also the, the depth buffer too so we need we add the GL depth buffer with all operator and then we cleared it and then we, we can enable depth test GL enable GL dot depth test then let's see the result oh Slightly different, but oh, it's very funny. But we it, it, we drew with lines, so sometimes the front page was red color. So when you are re, re, I will redraw it. Front color is red, so aha, so red is appears. So before it. Before we enable the GL depth test, slightly different. Let's test with the triangles. Okay, where's the render? Okay, okay, I will remove it and okay. Then test it. Okay, it changed into red. The, I will rotate it. Oh, uh, it looks like we are watching the outside of a box. So we can we can change it into to visualizing the outside of the box okay with turn on by turning on the depth test okay we make rotation of this cube with directly changing the transformation matrix with the rotation y lot y value so math dot cosine root y and math dot math dot sine y is sine root y is used directly in transformation matrix and then the rotation value is increasing and then this the transformation matrix is sent to gpu by gl uniform matrix for fv 
to location of matrix location, then we draw it. So the, if we turn on animation, then the box is rotate about y axis. Okay. So how can you change it into the geometric function? Okay. Let's learn the geometric function. What what kind of matrix function is in the geometrics.js? Okay, I will briefly introduce the functions in geometrics. The in module vector three, it's very same. It's very, very similar to in vector four, but it, there is a create function and zero. Zero means the field or value of component element with zero. Then from value x, y, z, and we can create uh, the, the vector three object with value of x, y, z, and set. The if you if you want to change the sum vector with x, y, z, then we we will use set. Add is to adding element by element with two vector, and then it is stored into out. And also return value is also back three. Okay, and ceiling is ceiling clone, copy, cross, cross is cross product, and distance is calculating distance from A to B, and the divide is element by element divide, and the dot is dot product, two vector dot product, inner product. And then, and equals is checking the, the A vector and B vector is same. So we need to, so what is equal vector? So we can set the, the epsilon value, the error value. Error value, there's so normally is zero. I, I, I can remember, but five, six, one is if the two, if the, the distance is smaller than that, it is same, same vector. But, but sometimes we need to exactly same vector. So to the to checking that is exact equal equal equals and exact exact equals return value is boolean okay because floor for each and inverse in is inverse is changing the order of vector and length is the from length is the distance from origin 0 comma 0 comma 0 to here a vector and then max mean selecting the element a b with the min maximum elements and then multiply is component by component multiply no sorry so multiply is very important okay multiply is oh no yeah it is component by component multiply <laughs> now it is at the factor three so neg negate is so we make it so all element multiply minus one okay normalize is Normalize is if vector has a has x y z then the all component is divided into norm norm is I mean x z square and y square and z square and then is divide all component is divided into this one so we sometimes we set it we we set it it, it, it is yeah oh yeah a we, we we call that is second norm so and random is randomly choose and then square distance is the distance but not square root d. so square square distance is quite uh, useful in in calculation of something so as you know the square root is sometimes square root is time consuming job so to pop if we, if we don't need to calculate the, the square root, then we can use this one, okay? So, squared distance and squared length. And the string A is as a change the value, changing the vector A into the string data type. And subtract is subtract. Okay, there is some kind of interpolation function. So, interpolation or curve functions. We, if we define a vector with a Bezier curve, the in 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 case of cubic Bezier curve, we need four control point. One, two, three, four control point. If you set the parametric 
value will be t, for example, 0 0.3, then the result vector will be stored in here. So uh, I will explain later ab about curve and, uh, curve and surface. And love is, is linear interpolation. And then Hermite is a Hermite, Hermite curve. Okay. And then there is some kind of a transformation function, rotates at y z with point the A will be rotated with 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 the pivot point and the center of rotation is B vector and then rotation angle is radian radian, radian okay and round round is some, some line but it, it should be go here then scale is scaling with the the center point is the B vector and then the scale and the add transform matrix 3 it is if we define matrix 3 dimensional matrix then we can calculate it so so it is multiplied with back to n matrix and then we can use the four dimensional matrix and transform with the quaternion so i will explain later about quaternion but if you are interested in quaternion please study with by googling okay so we have this kind of functions it means that in case of scaling with b is value so i think that b is value so scale with value so it, it is stored in output okay in case of rotate x y rotate x out a b center it is same as translate minus b and rotate and then translate plus b that that is sequence of this operation okay in matrix four module there is uh, the add function the element by element addition and adjoint adjoint is um, the add the calculation of adjoint matrix you know that so if there is some matrix so inverse of matrix is same as some uh, adjoint adjoint matrix and then divide it into determinant determinant of m so the the this part adjoint part is calculated by adjoint function and clone is cop, clone is the copy the and create new the new matrix for object copy is a, copy a matrix into b mat out matrix and create is of course create distance is the distance determinant determinant is the part this part and then equals and exactly equals is same as vector and flow is prominent prominent part so i can um, i will explain later and from value is create matrix with the 16 values and then identity is the set matrix with identity matrix and the one diagonally one 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 at the other part is zero other part is zero okay and invert is inverse matrix and multiply multiply scalar and add so multiply scalar and multiply is two matrix multiplication a matrix and b matrix and and goes stored into out and then multiply scalar is the scalar element by element uh, multiply and set is set with 16 values to out scale is scaling the string a is the changing the data type with the string subtract is element by element to subtract there is some kind of a some kind of a the transformation function from rotation that means we can we can set radian yeah rotation value amount of rotation and then i think it is a three the three dimensional vector then we can calculate rotation about this axis so if you want to rotate with the x then we can we can set axis with one zero zero then if you want to rotate with the y direction then y of y about y axis then we will set axis with the zero one zero but sometimes we need to rotate with 
root story. We need to rotate with special axis. For example, I want to rotate with this axis. Then this box, this box will be rotated like this. Okay. For example, the, everything is possible. So we we can define the rotation uh, about the the rotation axis. Then we can control more easily. The object can can be rotated more easily. Sometimes we need to, to use it with calculation of the calculation of the the camera rotation. Okay, and also there is some functions from scaling and from scaling. Oh, that's a redundant. And we can also have from x y z rotating out and radian. Then we can set from x rot from y rotation. Then we can set the vector with the amount of uh, rotation angle, and then get rotation is the. We can also get some matrix from matrix. We can get some rotation angle, but sometimes it is not easy. It is related to quaternion, so I will explain later. And get scaling scaling value with matrix. It, it is quite complex procedure and also it is also get translation is also a very hard thing in uh, it is not easy to get the translation value with the met from matrix and rotate the rotate the from rotation there is a lot there is a rotation function but there is one more matrix so it means that from rotation is set the matrix out with rotation matrix, but in case of rotate, the, they calculate the rotation matrix and multiply it into A. Multiply with A. So that multiplication is, uh, we need to set, check the order. So the out is is A multiply rotation matrix A, or rotation matrix multiply A? We need to check it, okay? And also there is a rotate. It is calculated, the, the, the rotation matrix is multiplied to A and then stored it out. Translate and transpose, translate also same. Scaling, translation, rotation is same as this one. So multiplied with matrix. So we we just see the 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 function list. So sometimes we need to know much more detail of uh, functions. So you should go to geometrics.net and then view the document. In in matrix four, we should check first vector in vector three. There is some some kind of a um, matrix multiplication. Yes, matrix, and then transform the vector three with matrix four. First vector component implicitly one. Okay, so it is it is the uh, so matrix multiplication with the the matrix, and then I will check the matrix four. So in case of a rotation, okay. Okay, it is the out radian axis. It is a from rotation is create the create matrix from the angle rot around the, the given axis, and then next next to rotate not from. I want to change rotate. I want to find the rotate. There is rotate function in oh yes there is so let's see the source code okay let's find rotate function rotate function it means that okay previous rotate function and they make 
they make rotation function and then A is original rotation and then original matrix and then they create the B with and then I think it's A multiplied B so so rotation matrix is light side of light side of the original matrix okay so if we create uh, if we call rotate then 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 is out and a and radian so so rotation matrix r radian will be multiplied in here so a matrix so n stored into out and return with out okay be careful it is multiplied in light side it is very important okay think about it it is very similar to uh, first script we if we call that translate rotate and scaling and rotation and and then finally we call rotate the matrix is in here so the, the matrix should be multiplied with this order okay so it is same as post script okay then let's change our code to use uh, geometrics so we rotate our cube with the directly changing our the matrix so then I will change it with the first the transformation matrix is also empty matrix and then I will remove it and then okay the GL matrix dot at four dot uh, from rotation from y rotation okay rotation with transformation matrix and with value of yeah root y then I will write it and then test it with code okay yes it works well it works very well okay and also we can change it into 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 we can remove geometric part because in our yeah in our so HTML we change the geometry geometric dot mat four into the mat four so we can use mat four okay then I will write it and then reload it yes it works well okay okay I will add one more transformation I will add translate okay okay then at pull that translate and then in translate we need the, the out option and we need input option input matrix too so input matrix should be same transformation matrix matrix we already see that the source code it in first first stage of source code that they copied it so we can use this function with the redundant input and output can be used for translate i think so we can we can create a vector three but it is very easily we can create the vector three with just a three or a so i will add 0 0.5 and then 0, 0.0 and then j per j okay okay then let's check it the result okay and reload it oh it moved 
yes, it worked. It moved and it it, it is adjust in one point zero. So you know it 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 didn't look like the work well. Then please guess it the guess the result of animation. If we turn on animation, then it is moved into this direction, then rotate it or it translated and rotated. Okay, can you see that? Okay, so I will run animation. It looks like rotating in here in big area and then there is a some kind of some some oh it there is some kind of a, so visual visual bug in this rotation okay so yeah it, it looks like inside of something so anyway anyway translate transformation is done like this so it means that it means that translation first and then object is translated and then rotated okay it is very similar to post script and the, the we, we need to solve the the problem of visual visual bug so we need to know the, some something more about the geometrics so i will explain it uh, there are uh, View and projection transformation mat matrix in matrix per module. So in view transformation, there is a two function, target to and look at. So look at and target to is very similar function. And, and look at is I'm, the out is the, of course it is matrix. And then I is the position of I. And then center is I'm watching, look at the point point and then up vector is the up vector so for example with this camera the camera then is up vector is this direction okay up vector so don't worry about that in next class I will teach the view and projection transformation okay before learning viewing transformation and project transformation then I will change the code to to practice it okay and there is a, some kind of projective transformation so first term also also is also gonna view perspective is perspective, perspective view and perspective from field of view and there, there is a, another function for quaternion i will explain later about quaternion so that we can uh, calculate the matrix width from quaternion and so we can calculate the quaternion rotation. So, so we will learn later. Okay. So let's go into our code. Before running uh, viewing transformation and projective transformation, so I will change the code with I will divide uh, the trans I will divide transformation into three parts. One is model transformation. Second thing is view tra transformation, and third thing is projective transformation. Sometimes we call it is MVP matrix. So actually order is a PVM. So and also I will change the shader code and render scene code. Let's go into the code. There is only one uh, matrix is sent to the shader. That is transformation matrix. Okay. So I will change it into three. So in first line, there's nothing to change. Initialize GL, and then initialize buffer, and then initialize shader. In shader, there is, in vertex shader, there is only one transformation matrix. So I will change it into three. So change it into the M matrix. So it is model matrix. And then I will add two more metrics and and three metrics. Sorry, I 
pre matrix, then I will change it into the projecting matrix P. Then the M matrix and B matrix, P matrix is sent will be sent to vertex shader, and then computation should be changed. So the order is P V M, not M V P. So P matrix multiply. U matrix multiply and model matrix transformation matrix okay there is in code th there is some some matrix location here computed by GL get uniform location so we need to do some I will change it in M mat model matrix location and then I'll change it pre matrix location and change it to P matrix location and it should be changed into M mat and also it is changed to V mat and also it should be changed into P mat matrix okay then then I will check the code transformation matrix is same as yeah so M matrix okay and then so M matrix and M matrix and M matrix okay. then the M matrix is sent to to M mat location. M mat location. Okay. We need to send the three. So we need to our V and then and I will make a V matrix and then I'll make P matrix. Okay. Then we will draw it. So B before the, the we change it into to new code, we will test with the with a uh, different matrix. Okay, so our change bar the V matrix equals, and then I create an and V matrix is identity matrix. Then T T. Okay. And we matrix and I copy the two line and then I will milk P matrix with identity matrix. Okay, let's check it. The result. Okay, it looks same legend. So, okay, it, it is, yeah, it is exactly same. So, we can use it with this code. Okay, it works well. And then, in our, the, the viewing transformation, there is some kind of function. Function name is look at. So, I will change view matrix with look at. First uh, parameter is the matrix, and then second parameter is I vector. So I will change the. So think about it. If it is, if it is screen, then original, original coordinate of uh, x y z is is like this, x y z. So, so, so I will move my eye from center to here so i will change into my position is 2.0 y is 0, 0 and i will change it to 2.0 so our if it is screen then i will go to front in front of screen 2.0 and then next parameter is i and next parameter is center vector so i'm i'm watching in here, so I'm watching the center. 
0.0.0. So I set it 0.0. Yeah. And then what is effect? Effect is okay. Effect is, is very simple. So yeah, effect is y direction. 0. 0. 0. 0. 1.0, 1. 0. 1.0, Okay. I set the effect. Then it is automatically calculated the the V vector. And then and then I will check the the I will make the projective matrix. Okay. Project matrix I will use I will use perspective from field of view. Then the out, output will be P matrix and then F of V. F of V is F of V is the field of view. I will explain later. I will set field of view with 90 degrees. 90 degrees the in radian is a pi, pi of two second. So I will divide into two. Okay, it's 90 degree, and then near near is I moved the so in the screen I moved I into camera into here. Then watching this one. Okay, so camera is watching. The 0, 0, 0, and then the distance is 2. So, near is in here, I will set in here 0 0.5, and then phi is to near, including this cube object. So, I will set the near and phi with the value of near is 0 0.5, and then phi side is minus 3. Then, then let's check the result. I saved it, and let's check the check the result. Reload it. Okay, nothing is displayed. So, so I will check the code. The prob I think is a, the first problem will be minus three because it is near and value and far value. Near and, and far value is not. A not a position, it is some distance. So I will change it into five. So because as I'm in, in 2.0, then the, we need set the distance to including the cube. So I will just change it into five. Okay, then I write, write it. Okay, then reload it. Nothing appears. So then I will check the code with the with uh, console console menu console that log. Let's look at the V matrix first. Okay, and check it. Reload it. So I think that is quite. Uh, it looks like some kind of a translated. Okay, so. I will check the the code of P matrix. Okay. Then load it. Yeah, P matrix is empty, so I think it is problem. Okay. I think perspective from field of view is something wrong. So I will use I will use the I will use different function. Okay. Make it clear. Then I will matrix pull. Then I will insert the identity matrix in here. So, okay, I will uh, add identity in the P matrix. Then let's check the value. Right, and check it. Then identity matrix is loaded in P matrix, and then something, something, some strange variable will be occurred in here. So we, we cannot use the trend, the perspective field from field of view. So out then I will use just a perspective. In case of perspective. Then 
first parameter is output and then second parameter is field of view and third parameter is aspect ratio aspect ratio is x width of height of our screen so so it is very simple so we have the eight with 800 pixel divided into 600 pixel then it is aspect ratio okay write it and then reload it oh yeah it appears good it looks good okay let's see the result wow we get it so it's a wonderful result you like it we will learn the projective transformation and perspective transformation and look at how can you make it so we, we will learn in next class okay have a nice day bye